Hello everyone, today in Starfield we're going to be playing Siren of the Stars to see if you can take out everyone on the ship and then still succeed in the quest line. Let's get into that and see what happens. First off, let's dock with the ship and talk to Rokov. Well, time showed up. Alright, what's going on? I've been trying to get the guard's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. But out of nowhere, just when Dave and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, the guard orders me to help you out. Happy. Oh, I'm thrilled. Still, this is me. So, needless message. Was that all she sent you? Don't play games with me. We're supposed to be working together. Hmm. So, why are you targeting Gulf Bandit? Playing it safe right now. But let's make one thing clear. Oh, no. No, no. I don't want money. Fine. Dombrowski's a full timer. Fortunately, to get what you need, you go. Yeah, well, lucky. This card will allow you to access. Head inside and then go. Well, you better learn. What is one last thing? Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone. Anyway, I suppose that's a. Here we see that we can get killing Larry as an optional objective. So here Rokov launches into a great speech about why it's not a good idea to kill Larry. So let's speed through that and then we can get started with killing all the people we can. Sadly, Rokov doesn't die. We can kill maybe most of the people on the ship, but there's some who we just can't kill no matter how much we try. Let's continue. So annoyingly this guy doesn't die, but the other people do die. What have we got here? Security... Oh, someone's shooting me. Okay, you can die. Okay. Let's get the prop again. Oh, someone's behind me. Kill this guy. Reload. Die. Where is everyone? Okay, they're all hiding. Oh, there's someone else behind me. Okay, two people. Die. Handily, they're all coming to me, so that makes things a little easier. Come on. Walking to my three dots. She doesn't die either. Hello. I'll come back and talk to you later. Chief Purser. He does die. Okay. Interesting.
Oh, everyone's just back to normal now. Okay, good, good. You don't care that I just wiped out half the stuff? That's fine. You care, don't you? At this point, there's very few people left alive who we can kill on this level. So even though I killed the purser, I still don't have the access to that room, so we need the key. Which kind of means we need her alive. At this point, I'm thinking we need Sheila to de aggro so that we can get the key to get into the safe room. Hello. This won't end. I can't do this. Where are you going? And Claudia.
Cordia is deeply upsetting. She doesn't die, she's pretty annoying. Hello. Can I talk to you now? I know we were just killing each other a minute ago. Maybe I wait for you to reset and then we'll talk to you. Oh, what the heck? Jesus. Stop that. It's annoying. How the heck do I get out of this section? That's the first section, so a little bit more tidying up and checking around, and then we can head into the ballroom section. Okay, there can't be that many more of you left in this section now. Is that the ballroom? No, that's a nothing. Still not right. So you, who I cannot kill. I don't know who you are. You, who I cannot kill, I guess as well. Yeah, I can't kill you. I don't think. So it's at least two people there I can't kill. I think with three markers, that's. Probably everyone here. One. Yeah. Yeah, because you're not dying. You, you won't ever die. Okay. So that's this side. Let's... Head into the ballroom. Oh, and these guys literally don't care. Heck, can you not do that? This is really it. Ah. Oh, she followed me through from the other side and now is still being annoying in this side of the door. Okay, I got it. Oh, there's Larry. Hey, Larry. A quick look over here. Someone help me. Security is behind me. Get down up there. Oh, shoot. Wow, grenade. People? Really? You just don't care, do you? Oh. Wow, okay, hold on. I'm getting a bit swarmed here.
There is no out of here. You're stuck in this ship with me. Stop, no, don't, don't run. Inaccessible? Well, that's no use, is it? I can't get into those sections. There's people in there. This is bad. Hey, Larry. Thank you. Right. I've got two. Targets that I need to get to here. Yeah. No one else. Inaccessible doors. Let's come back through there. Yeah, I think there's everyone on this side of the ship. It's weird because one of the most security on the world. Where are you? Are you through the inaccessible door? I think you are. Whoa, 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 he can shoot me through the door? Ah, okay. Wait, why did you open the door then if you're in there? That's kind of annoying. That's handy. Okay, let's continue up then, because we're not going to be able to do anything to those guys. Okay, I think that's Sheila. We have to wait for her to de grow because she can't die. At this point, we've killed everyone we can reach within the areas that we have access to. So there are still some people who we can't reach, and there are still some people who just don't die for whatever reason. And at this point, I continued to look around here, and then I switched between the rooms, and I discovered that the people in the ballroom kept respawning. So I think that there's an opportunity here for some grinding of levels because you can certainly go in and out of the ballroom have people respawn and then get experience for killing off the people left Quest-wise, we've dealt with Larry, but we still have the issue of the award that we need to get out of the safe. So with that in mind, I take this opportunity to run away and let everyone calm down so that they can de and we can talk to Sheila. Okay, let's see if they've de aggroed now. Because if Sheila doesn't de aggro, we have no option but to restart, because otherwise we can't complete the mission. Because there's literally no way of getting into that section. Are these all going to kill me, or are you going to talk to me? Society chair? Yes! Really? I'm extremely busy preparing for the award ceremony, so this better be important. 
Yeah, so I need your claim ID. Excuse me? And why in goodness... I'm gonna say that. Okay, there's no need... Here, take it. Take it, and go. Thank you. Right. So now we go back here. Combat alarm was permanently sealed the same. Okay, nice. Yeah, I have a feeling we killed the purser. Chief purser. He does die, so he ain't gonna be coming back to undo that. The moral of this story is to always get your trophies before you start killing everybody. So, in this case, it doesn't matter too much because it's a kind of optional objective. You don't have to have the trophy but it will affect the amount of reward you get for this quest. If you want to do this trophy, then I'd suggest collect the trophy before you start killing all the people. So, there's not a lot left to do now, other than report back our progress to the UC and see what they make of it. Oh, and of course, talk to Rockov who just acts like we didn't almost kill him earlier. In the quest, before you report back to the UC, there's a couple of extra sections around getting the data from Galbank and also reporting in on the key. We'll skip those and head straight to docking with the UC spaceship because that's where the interesting parts are. I'll show you two versions of dealing with the UC. The first version is the less traumatic version, and the second version is the kill everything version. I recommend dropping a full save before you speak to the commander. At this point, the plot line is locked in, but you do get then a chance to redo this part of the quest, which can be a little tricky if you choose to attack them. Wasn't up to you to decide, which means you will follow my orders and do exactly what I say. I try to be patient with you, but my patience and your time with CCF is at an end. You're under arrest. I expect you to follow the dead dog to the brief peacefully. The rest will have to use lethal force. Do you understand? 
Here's the decision point where you can choose to attack or hand yourself in. If you hand yourself in, you'll be taken to prison. you lose any articles that you've got on you that are stolen or contraband. And if you attack, then obviously it you are in a firefight. By order of Commander Kiwe Akande, you are hereby under arrest. You are now stripped of all privileges befitting a member of UC SysDef, and you will be immediately remanded to prison on Jemison. Any attempt to return to this ship will be considered a hostile act, and you will be fired upon. Get off my ship. No matter which option you choose at this point, SysDef is your enemy. So Sis you won't be running any enemy. more missions for them, or taking any further part with them in this overarching quest line with the key. Space suit. To continue the main quest, you can fly back to the key. You won't be taking any further instructions from Sister. But this way of doing things is a little slow and boring. Let's see what happens if you attack the commander. I saw one of the ensigns get an alpha. There you are. I'm going to make this short and simple. I heard about that little stunt. Unacceptable. I've tried to be patient with you. You're under arrest. I expect you to follow Lieutenant Dorf to the brig peacefully. Or else we'll have to use lethal force. Do you understand? Guards, stop them! Okay, run. Okay, run quick, run! <laughs> Else can leap through the door. Wow. Okay, let's go upstairs. As you can see, it's a similar story here as to the main ship in that you've got some people who do not die and some people who do die. So spend as much as you like here looking around and then you need to head off in your ship. And when you launch, the fleet surrounding this mothership will be immediately hostile. So this is the next challenge in getting away from this sector. I'd recommend quickly hyper jumping away.
right? Oh, this is the bridge. Nice. Can I steal this ship? I'm not authorized to pilot this ship. That's a shame. Here we've got my first attempt to escape, where I don't set the course quickly enough and I fluff up trying to repair the ship and then get blown up. Do you actually think you stand a chance against the entire system fleet? All ships, bring that pirate to justice! And here's my second attempt to escape, where we put in the course more quickly, and then immediately hyper jump away. And this seems to work. I'd recommend this as an approach, unless you've got a really powerful ship that you can just use to destroy everything. And that's it! You can now jump to the key to continue the quest line. So the answer to the question is, can you kill everyone? No, you can't. You can kill quite a lot of people, and you can kill quite a lot of people over and over again because they respawn. So useful for gaining levels. Hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks.